I'm Emily. And I'm Quilla Lenny. And we'd like to be icons. Well, we'd like to try. We think if we can recreate an iconic woman's daily routine and live like her for a week, then maybe we can empower ourselves to live to our own personal excellence. Zendaya is such an icon. We, as lovers of iconic women, want to learn more about her life and her legacy. I think at the foundation of any great person is like an inlaid set of principles that you live by, and I think every iconic woman has one. These women are obviously on their journey of self-discovery as well as we are, so we're gonna learn from them in the hopes of teaching you how to come up with your own iconic routine. For Zendaya, we're gonna focus on the five parts of her life that we can actually recreate. Style and fashion, beauty and skin, diet, self-care, and professional aspects plus work life. I think the hardest part for me is gonna be like surrendering control. I think it'll be easy in like a luxurious way, but I think it'll be hard in the way we have to be vegetarian. I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm shook. So day one of this week, we went and got manis. So we just got to the nail salon and we're gonna be getting our nails done like Zendaya does, because she really believes in having clean, nice nails. I'm excited to have a nicely done manicure. I feel like New York is really hard on your nails, so this seems like a fun thing to do to just spruce things up. We also found time to Postmates our lunch. This is something that Zendaya does regularly, because she doesn't have a whole lot of time to like pack her lunch or make her lunch. One of the things our research team found out about Zendaya is that she doesn't cook. She just likes to Postmate everything. I guess because she makes a lot of money making movies, she can afford to do that. I grew up in a house where you cook, so this is foreign to me. The vegetarian part's gonna be hard. You usually get like bacon. Yeah, or veggie like... sausage. Oh no, I'd rather go without than eat <laughs> veggie sausage. We also got dressed like Zendaya, so our stylist picked out outfits for us each day. I'm here today to help these ladies look like Zendaya for the week. Hi, so great to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you. Zendaya is really creative and courageous when it comes to fashion. Throughout the pieces that I picked, you'll see some certain silhouettes or color combinations, even down to the fabric. We wanted to really stay with Zendaya's personal style, but I know you each had very specific style preferences. For you, you have a little bit of eclectic pieces, no pants at all. For you, we have all black, play on texture, Lots of pants, some jumpsuits. Woo! Let's, Let's do, this. do it! Just woke up and got dressed. This is day one of dressing like Zendaya. So we went to the office in her look. We asked our friends what they thought. I looked up and saw your outfit. It like immediately caught my eye. I really liked the clothes that she picked for me specifically. They were both my style, but also a little bit like Zendaya, so it wasn't totally one side or the other. We started the skincare routine that Zendaya follows. We have a big box of things, all of Zendaya's top picks. Now to find out what keeps her skin so luminous. Why does she always look so, so perfect? I have a feeling it has a lot to do with skincare. I'm really obsessed with the vitamin E oil overnight serum. I feel like I wake up and my skin's like a baby's bottom. The overnight serum, hi. One of Zendaya's makeup looks is that she thinks every look is complete with a red lipstick, so she usually wears a nice red lip. Day one of lipstick. I haven't always been the most comfortable in lipstick, so I'm like... Ooh, it's so pretty. It works really, really well with your skin tone. So she has two different kinds of wipes. One is clarifying facial wipes and removes makeup and dirt without rinsing or drying. And this is also makeup removing wipes. So I'm not sure if she uses these every day, both of them, but I'm gonna use one and then the other just to see what happens. There is no better feeling than at the end of the day, just taking the makeup off. Oh my God, it's like taking your bra off. So day two, we took on Zendaya's professional component. What does it mean to be like an actress, model, it girl? We decided to take that on by doing a photo shoot where we got styled, we got our makeup done, and our in-house photographer took great photos of us that replicated some of her more iconic magazine covers. So just got doing cover photo number one, and I gotta say it was Intense. My calves are burning. The positions that they put you in, it's like an S curve, but then your face has to somehow be relaxed. I think there's a lot of like shade thrown towards like models and actresses as if it isn't a real job, but it takes a lot of work. A big part of who Zendaya is as a celebrity is her Instagram. It's very curated, her feed is gorgeous. We're gonna take it to the streets and take photos and see how easy it is to be a street style Instagrammer. We're currently walking around trying to find the perfect composition. In most of my Instagram pictures, I'm like standing straight or I'm looking away, but there's not a whole lot of movement and action. In order to have a feed that's Insta-worthy, we have to spend some time wandering around and finding the right places and just really curating our feed so that it's a little bit of everything, different looks every day. If you see an image, you don't know how many images came before it and after it. Like it might 
seem like, oh, she just took this photo and it's perfect. But for all we know, she took like hundreds of photos first. This Postmates thing is actually kind of saving the day. I wouldn't have time to run and get food. So right now I'm walking to get my Postmates and then I'm gonna get to walk back and go back to work. Cooking is cathartic. I do like to cook, but it's nice not having to when you're busy. It's funny because I think we think that celebrities are like so far removed from us and they live wildly different lives. But as we were post-mating and getting our photos taken, I was kind of reminded that in our jobs, sometimes we have to get our photos taken for work or often I eat out because I'm too busy. How many people, I wonder, live similar lives to celebrities without knowing it? Apparently she said she loves Chick-fil-A even though she's a vegetarian. So I guess she just loves the fries. We're gonna go to Chick-fil-A just for the fries. As a vegetarian, I can't imagine why you would ever go to Chick-fil-A. And on day three, that's what we did. because she said like she likes sorted Chick-fil-A. We also wore our sweats for a day because Zendaya loves to wear chic sweats. Our stylist Megan picked out these really cute chic sweat sets for us to wear. Zendaya, I approve this look. I like to consider myself a fairly low maintenance person and then I'm like really chill, I can just throw things on. But I realized when I put this on that my aesthetic matters so much to me. I feel like on camera it doesn't look as bad. Like I'm looking at it and I'm like, it doesn't look that bad, but it is that bad. One of the things that's beautiful about being human is how different we all are. And so something that can be comfortable for someone else can be radically uncomfortable for another person. And I fully experienced that. She's like, I feel so comfortable. And I was like, I hate this, I hate myself, I hate everyone. The last day was super fun, but also kind of hard in a lot of instances. And the hard part was the social media cleanse. But I am mentally preparing for a 24 hour social media cleanse. I'm addicted to social media, I feel like I'm gonna have to delete the app. The social media cleanse is a lot harder than I thought at first. I was like, what? I just wanna like my Instagram and my Facebook. But I work for a company that makes things for both Instagram and Facebook. So for me, I've been like, oh, let me check this. Oh, I almost just posted something earlier about like editing all day. And then I wanted to check out one of the stories when my coworkers made. And I'm like, wait, I can't get on it. So much of what we do here lives on social media. So not being able to use or look at my Instagram, I was like, eh, eh, eh. Couple hours into my social media cleanse and it's sheer torture. I'm so over it. I can feel myself getting like visibly angry and like grinding my teeth. I'm like, what What did we do before social media? We also started shopping for veggie options at Whole Foods because Postmates was getting really expensive. I mean, unless you have that celebrity money, it's not easy to order a $30 veggie meal every day. I feel like since she doesn't cook, I'm just getting a lot of like fruits and like nuts and things you could eat if you aren't cooking. Veggie options, we have grapes. They are flavored like con candy though, so I feel like that's kind of cheating. Bagels, because like everybody needs carbs, duh. I feel like Zendaya would approve of waffles. So I am on my way to dinner with my husband and I'm wearing my Zendaya outfit. Let's see what he thinks. Look at you. You look all cute. Part of the skincare products I'm really into, the Mario Badescu and the Vitamin E Overnight Serum. It makes my skin feel so soft before bed and it's really relaxing. My overall takeaway from this is that it is possible to live your most iconic and genuine self on a budget. Often the perception we have of someone is not true to who they actually are. Like, I would have thought that Zendaya was wearing like $500 face cream all the time and was like only using Le Mer. Finding the dupes for this was actually pretty tough because Zendaya does kind of live on a budget, which I can super appreciate because, you know, save that hard-earned money. I think we've been taught that the more expensive a product, the better. And I think that isn't always necessarily true. For her to live like us and to feel like a regular person is really special because some celebrities are just so far removed. So Zendaya, we see you, girl. Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.